You get to your knees or just move, basically. Get to my knees? Yeah, yeah. Bro, what a yeah. bro! There's no movement there. Yeah, there's no, How'd like, you get up? What's happening, bro? You all right? I see you, man. You good? So when, when I rolled up here, we, we actually drove past three or four times. I was early. We drove past three or four times because I didn't expect it to be here in like an industrial park. This is where like the UFC champion is in here. Like I did not expect it, but I love it. And I actually love him more for it. This just seems like it's brutal, this sport, man. Because it's, this is all technique, like, look what they're doing here. There's nothing explosive here, it's just pure technique. It's, the thing is, not anyone can do this. <laughs> so you can smell and feel the respect and discipline within the gym straight away. All the football grounds. I went to Spurs the other day. It's like being in a five-star hotel, luxury hotel. This is absolutely at the other end of the spectrum. This is where world champions are born, man, and made. I love it. It's mad, I was just saying to the guys, when I come down there, I'm driving up. Yeah. And you're not, like, you don't know what to expect, like yeah, training yeah, yeah. facilities, yeah, yeah. and I'm yeah, thinking, right, because I see, like, old oh, fighter and that, yeah, it's yeah, all yeah, glitz yeah. and glamour, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 100%, 100%. And then you come here, and it's like, right, this is, like, taking it back real. Yeah, yeah, back like, to the trenches. Yeah, no heat in yeah, there, no heat in there. Steam coming off the head. I don't think them little pretty gyms are built world champions. Mm. You know, I think this is where you build the grit and where you get the grind from. Leon, listen, I, I'm in Birmingham, I've come yeah. to your gym, bro. I can't come here and not go in, in the octagon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's go. <laughs> he just yeah. made out like that's just like, what you, this is light work, light work. Like, into the, into the into octagon. The, the, the octagon, yeah? <laughs> Whoa. Let, let me just show you a bit of, maybe a choke first. If I tap you, yeah, 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 listen, yeah? yeah. <laughs> I got you, I got you. If oh, I tap, uh, make sure yeah. you're ready. Yeah, 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 yeah right. I got you. Let me show you on a partner so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be behind you. Jai. Yeah. How are you doing? You're right. You're good, yeah? Give, nice give me back. Thank you, brother. Give me back. So we'll call this the hooks, your feet inside. So this controls them from like slipping out left or right or standing up. From here, we call this the seat belt, obvious reason on the armpit, mm. um, over your shoulder. All you're doing for the finish mechanic is squeezing. Open your chest up and you just squeeze. So from here, one. Move. So from there, you're gonna move your chin, replace it with your arm, grab your biceps. From there, you're gonna squeeze. Bro. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, my sorry. My name was sorry. Out. Oh my God. Well, so you try on me. Yeah. And I'll, I'll, I'll do it on me quickly. I want to okay, speed it, feel, so I know. Morning. So get in the guard. Hooks in, one over, one on the armpit. Yeah. Pull you into my chest, then look, I'm gonna wrap this here. Yeah, yeah. this one behind. Yeah. Then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, that, so that's how fast it goes that on. That is mad, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna shoot my neck off. <laughs> so right. the, the, the mechanics of the choke, yeah. you're basically cutting off the, the blood circulation to the yeah, head. Yeah. So the blood goes to the brain from these two veins. Well, I'm busy right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm joking, I'm joking. So let's go. <laughs> right, so. This one around the neck. Like that. Coming to the chest, yeah. So, so you're going to apply this one to your bicep. This one like that. Yeah, then that behind my neck, my, my head. Yeah, yeah. Like that. There you go, bicep. Yeah, yeah. Then you, you know, up, up, up your chest. Like <laughs> 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 yeah. You know, you open your chest up and squeeze. OK. Yeah, so ready? Like that. Like that, yeah? yeah. Two. No. Squeeze. You see? Well, I'm doing it. <laughs> but you see how you like 
And the choke thing, you're, you're moving head away. So oh, okay. it's making the choke weaker. So you swing into it here. Oh, okay, I got you, yeah, I got you. One more. Okay. So she'll go on like that, straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much. I never knew that's how you could do it like that. Yeah. I can't come here and not talk about your next opponent, Colby. Yeah, uh, yeah. What, what does that entail for you? Um, it's my next fight, December 16 in Las Vegas. You know, he's the guy that shouted the loudest. He's a veteran in the UFC. What threat, what threat does he pose to you? What, what skill set has he got you going, you know what, I've got to be w very wary of that? Well, everyone's saying it's cardio. Everyone's saying that he can put a pace and keep the pace for the, for the full fight. And, mm. But I, I believe that they're judging it off fights where he's putting over the hill guys. Mm. You know, like Rubble Orla, Masala, Taron Woodley. These guys are like in sport, 38. In sport, it's old. It means something, yeah. Yeah, it? yeah, 100%. Mm. Yeah, man, I'm excited to go out there, shut him up. He's a big mm. talker. Um, so I want to go out there, shut him up, and just continue my reign. Sometimes, is it is it easier fighting people that 100%. give you that type of energy? 100%, 100%. Yeah. They definitely get up in the morning to run. Okay, yeah. I can't lose them. I don't want to lose yeah. them, you know, and um, I, wouldn't, I won't lose them. And so I feel like, like having something like that motivates me to get up and train and mm. um, to kick his ass even more. Brother. So, how are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, how you doing, bro? So, when you were growing up, yeah, just before you go in, yeah, when yeah. you two were growing up, like, who, who, who used to boss it? Come on, man. You already know, you already know, but now, yeah. to be fair, we never really had like fights like that. What's the age difference? Um, a few years. I've been like, type of brother like shared experience with as well. Yeah, Shows yeah. a football, feels like a brother in football, like, can both from like, Bounce ideas of each other. Yeah, right. It's a it beautiful is, thing to yeah, have yeah. to go the journey together yeah, like that. 100%. Yeah, 100%. And yeah. like, I'm, I'm, he corners me when I'm fighting, I corner him when, when he's fighting. Mm -hmm. You know, and. See the road out with movement, Rocky! See the road out with movement! I'm gonna try and pin you here. You just don't, from here, you, you can try to get, get to your feet, however you think. Are you, you gonna get up from there then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all you gotta do is either get to your knees or just move, basically. Get to my knees? Wh wherever, you, wh wherever. Just get to your two feet. Oh, no, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> you see? <laughs> You're like stuck. I'm looking at it. Yeah, yeah. Bro, what a bro! There's no movement there. Yeah, there's no, How'd like, you get you, you, for side control. So, like this, basically you're dead, because you, you, you got no frames. We call it frames. So when you want to get your, your arm across his face, this one in by oh. his hip, then this will give you the space then to push off me. Mm. If like this, it's even hard to get up. Yeah, right? that's what I was doing. I yeah, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> so from here, you're going to go frame, frame. You're going to bridge your hips up, then shoot it smack to get your knees in. Right, now I'm, so now, much now technique, I'm innit? Yeah, yeah. Trying to stay like, that clear thought process yeah. in the mix of a madness yeah, on yeah, the floor. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, is that yeah. what separates the chip? Like hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. I think same as any sport, football, whatever. I think if in the midst of that chaos, full stadium, everyone's shouting at you mm. and just being zoning on that ball and on the, the punches coming towards you or the grappling part of it. How, how, how do you keep the, the crowd out? I've done it so many times over the years. The same side control move, the same choke. I've done it for like 10, 15 years, the same, mm. same. So now I can close my eyes and I'll just, I'll just do it. I presume if I'm going to yeah, choose, yeah. I don't, I like, I'm yeah. just thinking from an athlete point of view. Yeah. Once that first whistle bell goes, your dreamland, this is you. Yeah, when it comes to ball. Before that, yeah, where, yeah. where's the most nervous? Um, I think for me, it's the, the hour before the fight. I think you're in, you're in your locker room, you're saying, okay, Leon, you got like 50 minutes until you mm. have to walk into the arena and fight, you know? And, um, that's the most nerve-wracking nerve um, part of it for me, you know, just controlling that nerves, warming up. Before the curtains open up, you, you make your walk from the, from the locker room, from behind the curtains, and they open, they open it up, and it's like, yeah. all, all that goes away. I, I was talking to a couple of the guys on the way here. 25% of yeah, yeah. the titles available 100%. in the UFC yeah. is in the UK. Crazy, like, crazy. Yeah. Your world champion, Aspinall. Ah, uh, mate, Tom is he's brilliant. Mm. You know, I truly believe that he is the, he is the future of heavyweights in the UFC. Mm. And uh, his, his finish was oh, clean, crazy. Nice. clean. You know what I mean? So I wish him well, and look, look to see his rising. Mm.
So Ian Gary was a guy who trained here with you guys up yeah. until a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. And I believe he's kind of been told he can't come and train here now because he's in your weight division. Um, kind of not, that, that wasn't the reason. That's the reason he said. Oh, that, okay. that, that wasn't the reason. There's a culture in the gym that we're trying to build. Even though I'm, I'm a world champion, I still abide by the same rules as the amateur. Yeah, I walked in. I, if I didn't know you, I would never know exactly. that the world champions are exactly. there. Exactly. The difference is it with Ian was that when he comes in, he brings his camera with him, bring like his, his girlfriend with him. He's, he's late to the sessions. Mm. There's a lot going on, you know? So the coaches and the team decided that, like, um, we wish you out in your journey, but you, your culture doesn't fit our culture. And mm. um, this, the, that's the third gym now he's been kicked out of. There's a, a reason why um, that, yeah, because he's out in the white division. There's a lot of people in the gym that's in the white division. Also, you don't want that kind of ruining the culture. 100%, 100%. Yeah, bad cause habits. Once one starts slipping, then you feel, okay, if he did, I can do it. If, if he ain't cleaning the mats, I ain't cleaning the mats. Mm. The, the, eventually, it breaks the team down. What else you got for me? Can you kick? I don't, I haven't kicked. You can't long. <laughs> so let's see, I get pads and pads. This is what you, football doesn't give you, that we don't get this access with football. Like, imagine me now with Harlan talking about body positions and like me being close and getting against him and what he would do and why he does this, why he does that. Just getting beneath like the, the bog standard. Yeah, it's a good game. Uh, yeah, the conditions today were really hard and uh, hopefully we get the three points next week. Like, this is like, you're getting so much more. OK, let, let me show you my famous um, head kick. Oh, uh, bro, that this, I landed. This, this is the one of the yeah. most iconic. If you don't know, you've got to get to <laughs> the most iconic world title finisher. When I'm watching that fight, yeah, it just looks like, like oh, you just went bang right. and he didn't see yeah. it. It was so quick. Yeah, 100%. But you, you've teed the it up with something. The details are exactly in between. If I go to straight kick and you parry, that opens up that side for mm. that bang. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's, that's exactly what he did. For the kick, you want to like pivot on, the, on your lead standing leg so, as a kick. You see how I pivot? Yeah, perfect. And my, my, my shin, I'm trying to land my shin on the pad across. So when I'm here, I'm going, boom. Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here, then. Whoa. That's, that's, that's it, putting it in. So that's going to the head, to the body. So yeah. like that, yeah? So you hold it like, yeah. OK. So I'm going to go, you feel? Bruh. So I'm going to go one, two, three, kick. OK, cool. Yeah? One, two, three. Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> Again? Yeah. One, two, three. Rush. Yeah, so it's like it's coming up here as you kick it. No way! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, <laughs> so let's oh. see. Let's see you go now. I hold you. But you know what? This is the thing I think about as well. Your shins. How do you train your shins like that? Because if I, um, I we think, have to wear shin pads with yeah. my boots. <laughs> I think over the years from hitting the pads, hitting the bags, kicking, you, your your shins get conditioned Rob, to kicking. That is a uh, madness. So what what leg are you? Right. Right. I'm gonna go this way. So do it slow. Don't yeah, no, kick no, me no, in my no, head. No. <laughs> so it's, it's so like, it's slow. It's like that, yeah? yeah. yeah. So you need to come down a bit, brother. My hamstrings. <laughs> <laughs> so go touch first. Yeah. And feel. Like there you that. go. More pivot your hips into me. There you go. You, you're more coming like right up. Yeah. What do you want? I'm more going. Oh, like that. Okay. I yeah. kick through me. Yeah. Boom. There you go. Boom. There you go. Oh, there's yeah. no, that ain't the same, I'm not hearing the same noise. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, you got it now. There you go. Oh. Boom, there you go. That's good, man. Boom, yeah. Yes. Headshot. Right. <laughs> Headshot. <laughs> I'm trying to put him in the ring over there. <laughs> so we're recreating the, the, the shot, yeah? Recreate it, yeah, so. So I'll be go, like that and I'll go, punch, like I'm gonna go like that. Here, my yeah. parry. And then that that's almost up. taking me through. Yeah, for, yeah, for 100%. Momentum. So again, I'll block it. So go, boom, bam. Boom. Yeah, <laughs> you can kick. It's all right, I got, I got you. No, 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 no. <laughs> so you got that, so bang. Boom. Then there's a kick bang. there. Yeah. That's the shot, that's the shot. Yeah, yeah, that's the shot. So once it, once it parries it, bang, it's done, out. Seriously, my, in my house, me and my, my two boys watch this. Yeah, yeah. Went nuts. Because you were losing. Yeah, I was, I was, I was down on, on the cards. As a sportsman, when you're getting beat, it's hard to like, find hope. I think my coach in the going into the fifth round, Dave. Oh, the he, speech, yeah, yeah, the speech. Yeah, he woke me up. Oh, mate, yeah, that's like, like I'm going back in the zone. And I was like, oh, like, switch out, what are you doing? Listen, stop feeling sorry for your oh. Well, come on then. What's wrong with you? You're too that 
Come, you gotta pull the out of the fire. Stay sure. Come on, Leon, man, you got it, man. Come on. You got this. Sharp shoot on the yeah. Is it hope or is it genuine belief? It's definitely belief. It's more just like reverting back to your training, mm. right? It's, it's, it's a technique that I, I drilled over and over again. Um, That's what I love. Yeah, yeah. I that it. is the bit yeah, I love yeah, yeah, because yeah. I say this to all kids, all young people. Basic fundamentals yeah. will get you to the top of the mountain and get you to stay there. Hundred percent. Like, all the frilly stuff. No, no, no. In times stuff. of need, yeah. That's yeah. what you go back yeah. to. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. My coach said cross head kick. I heard. My brother shouted it. D no way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, don't lie. He's like cross head kick, cross. Head. Okay, I was like, okay, sit down. Bam, bam. It's How come he didn't hear that? <laughs> I think he did. Your didn't hear I don't that. know. It's mad because he was like, he was like pound for pound at the time. Yeah, hundred percent. I was the first person to take him down in the first round. And I was the first person to knock him out, and I was, I was the first person to beat him in beat him in the UFC. And then he done it again. And I done it again in London. Just to let him know, I'll do it again. And London Isn't again, it? and home wow. town, you know. So um, was you more confident after that for initial win? Um, that at the time was just a competitive nature of me. I wanted to be a world champion. He was the guy with the belt at the time. He was the pound pound number one. He was he was the guy in the division. You know. You dealt with him. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean. When you win this, yeah. next fight, yeah. what's next for you? Two, um, two straps? I'm hearing two straps. 100%, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm done. Strap up, 100%, 100%. I feel like I walk around quite big anyway, you know what I mean? And um, I always wanted to move up, but I was friends with Israel, Adesanya. Mm. But now, now it's taking a back step a little bit. Why not, why not move up and mm. try to be great? You know, I've already achieved one of my goals, which is becoming the World to World Champion. So, uh, the two! Double one. up. Whoa, chip! Why oh, not? That'd be nuts. Like, that, that would be like history. Yeah, history, yeah. Like... Well, no one, no one from this country has done that. Nah, nah, nah. No, no from the UK. No from the UK has done it. Mm. You know what I mean? So to be able to do that, I think it motivates the whole MMA community and the sports in general mm. in the UK. You know, so 100% after this, go out there, take him out. Then I call my, I call my shot. Definitely. Well, listen, good luck, man. Let's go. You don't seem like someone who's going to lack focus to yeah. do it anyway. Yeah. So. Nah, no, definitely. And I heard when you started making a bit of money. You, you got your mama shop. 100%. Jamaican food. 100%. Bro, I'm hungry. Bro, let's go. <laughs> let's go. All right, cool. Uh, I need to let's see the get it. Let's, let's go. get it. Let's go. So, this is it, yeah? Yeah, this is it. Mom, Mom's kitchen. She's been dreaming for this for a long time, you know, so to be able to give it a, it's, it's a, it's an honor for me. And, yeah, man, the food, the food is banging as well. Is it? Yeah, you need to try it. Yeah, I will, don't yeah, worry. Sweet's lovely. kitchen, go on, I'll follow you. Go on then. So here we are, this is your mum's shop, man. So how did this come about? Um, it's a vision that she had in her, her head for a long time. You know, I remember her saying it to me when I was young, that she wanted like a, a food takeaway, care and takeaway. Mm. So when I won what the world title, I was able to help her open it and wow. it's here, it's thriving, she's, she, she enjoys it, she cooks. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I try to get her to get someone else to cook it. But <laughs> she wants she wants to stay in here and cook, and that's her ambition, you know. What kind, that's the feeling that you know you have to fulfil a dream for someone in your family, you know. Yeah, hundred percent, especially for your mom, you know. Yeah. Like for me, especially because my dad um, passed away when I was quite young. Mm. Um, she played both roles, yeah. you know. So to be able to help her and give her one of her dreams, that's one of the to raise me and me mm. and my brother. It's um. Bring a smile to my face, man. Yeah, I can see you, you're beaming now. Yeah, so just yeah. to take me back, just rewind back to your earlier days. Like, what what was life like for you? Um, Cause you you were born in Jamaica, weren't you? Born in Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was born in Jamaica. Um, I came to the UK for about nine, nine years old. Um, in Jamaica, I was born in poverty, like in Kingston, Jamaica. A wooden wooden house, zinc mm. roof. Um, um, my, my dad was involved in in gangs and crimes, basically, and he immigrated to the UK first. Um, and then he, he brought me and my mum and my brother Fabian at the time to Birmingham. He was in London, he, he got remarried mm. um, in, in, in London, and that's where he ended up getting murdered when I was 13 years old. Oh, wow. Um, then, yes, from then it's been me and my mum and my brother, you know, and just. Must have been difficult that growing up like that. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%. I think you, you, you go through a, a period where you, you, you kind of blame the world for your problems, right? That father figure that you had at the time that passed away. That, that discipline, was, isn't it? Yeah, that exactly. You, you're scared yeah, to yeah, go yeah. home to. Yeah, exactly. Mm. You know what I mean? When that got take, get taken out, um, and then your mum has to like, now pick up both roles and she's not working, working, so she's not at home no more. Mm. You know, after school, they come home from school, your mum's at work. Mm. I mean, you so what you want then, isn't it? You can go outside with your friends, you can hang yeah. out, you can get into trouble and um, without her knowing, you know what I mean? So eventually, just as far as I controlled and 
That's when I got into MMA at 17. You know? So it's uh, that late as well? 17. Quite late, quite late. I didn't know what MMA, like, mixed martial arts was until I was 17. So, so how, how was like, becoming the world champion? Like, how has it changed your life? When I was um, 17, 18, like, training every day and living in the gym, this is what I wanted, you mm. know? So now it's here, I'm kind of like, I'm trying to enjoy it, but I don't enjoy it too much, where mm. I take my eye off the ball and start, <laughs> start slipping, you know I, what I mean? I, I see the video of you when you won the belt and you're ringing your mum. Mom, I told you, I told you, Mom, I told you, I did. <laughs> you could see that now. I've, now I've met you and talking to you, I can yeah. see there's been a lot that's gone on 100%, to get 100%, to that moment. Yeah, and now yeah. you, I understand completely yeah, why yeah. that phone call yeah, was so emotional. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. I feel like like my path has been crazy. I love to get stuff in place where my, my, my son will never live the way I lived or mm. why I went through what I went through now. So that's definitely in the back of my brain. And um, as far as like getting stuff in place, mm. so when, when I do decide to walk away, mm. um, I'm so comfortable. You know, that's the way, so man. Therefore, man, that's the that's the dream and that's the plan, you know. And mm. It's gonna happen, 100. percent Well, Leon, listen, I want to say thank you very much for allowing me to come into your Good world. Man. I appreciate you, it, bro. man. Us guys at TNT Sports Box Office will be backing you 100. percent There's Good no man. doubts in my mind. My man's going down. 100 yeah. percent strap season. I want to get that double champ. Strap after season, this. yeah. I want to see it on both shoulders. Yeah, like it's, it's coming. Down. It's coming. It's coming. But man, thanks for your support. No, like I said, you. thank you again, top man. Nice man.